a lot of times we talk about met metaphysical things or being a medium, but I really felt like, you know, we really need to take care of ourselves and feel good about ourselves. So I did come across mirror work and I wanted to explain what that is all about because it's very intriguing and I thought it would be awesome for you to know all about it tonight. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, I put up a degree um, and this will change each week. Now, this is like an emotion <laughs> temperature that uh, that the preschool kids use, you know, if you're angry or anything. But I saw this and I thought, you know, it will be fun to use, but I didn't realize the implications. Let me explain that. So what I want you to do is I want you to think, what degree do you like yourself today? And of course, you cannot give yourself a 10 because 10 is kind of where it, you're not feeling good at all about yourself, okay? And so we're gonna have to reverse what we normally think. So a number one would be you are feeling awesome about, about yourself today, okay? And then I love the little emotional faces because it kind of explains that, you know, as you don't like yourself, it's just your emotions just kind of, ew, you know, get all red and icky and everything. So, um, so let me know if you are on, I would love to let me know how you feel about yourself today. And of course this changes, right? Some days you'll really love yourself and other days you don't as much. And you know, that's, you know, that's just the way that the world works, right? But to be able to do this exercise, I want to know how many degrees that you like yourself. And remember, if you love yourself today, absolutely, that would be a one. And a 10, uh, no, you're not liking yourself at all. I mean, you're having a difficult time even looking in the mirror. What we're going to do is first we're going to talk about our thoughts. And you know that you have, I mean, we have thousands of thoughts each day. You don't even realize when you're thinking. You know, sometimes you tune out and you're thinking. So we have so many thoughts. And you know that that's kind of towards manifestation too. So if you're, you have a lot of negative th thoughts, you're not, you're going to manifest a lot of negative energies, right? So if you realized how powerful your thoughts are, you would never think a negative thought again. All right. But you know, sometimes it is okay to have negative thoughts because sometimes it kind of gives you a red flag on what you need to do and what you need to fix and what, you know, what is going on with me. And so it's sometimes a red light. So you still need to listen to that. But if it's something that's consistently bringing you down, yeah, you got to look at, you really need to watch those thoughts. Okay. All right. So what I want you to do, and you don't have to tell me, okay, this is very private, you know, I, and I understand your thoughts are your thoughts, but think about it and you can write it down too. And this is today. This isn't all week. Okay. So write down five or think about five things um, that you have thought about today. All right. So five things. I actually did this yesterday as well. And my goodness, when I look at my list, it's so completely different. My list was so kind of negative yesterday. And today I was having much happier thoughts. And I don't know if it was this exercise, but I was really, you know, I was thinking about future things. I was wanting to go on a trip and that was canceled. And I was getting frustrated. And yeah, so little things like that. Um, so I don't know if I've dealt with it since I really thought about the things that I was thinking about. Um, but today has been much more positive. Um, so think about five things that you have thought about today. Um, I will tell you one. Um, my son got a brand new truck, okay? And he, okay, he is married. He's out of the house and everything. But, you know, I can't stop but be so proud of him that he was able to buy something for himself. I'm going, oh, my gosh, it just shows independence, right? Um, except he may have a car payment, you know, that he'll have to figure that out. But, but it just made me so proud. And so I did have that thought yesterday, uh, today, where yesterday I was real frustrated about a trip, right? Just one of my thoughts. So think about those five things, all right? All right, so the next exercise I want you to do with those thoughts is put an emotion with each thought, okay? Like yesterday, I was frustrated, so I was kind of that red ball, the one that's, you know, looking really angry. <laughs> so, and then today, um, you know, I, I think I'm the blue. I'm kind of that peace sign just because of, you know, thinking about my son, very excited about it for him and going, yes, I'm really excited about it. So put an emotion with each of your thoughts. Um, and then I want to show you what you're going to do next. 
all right? So these are all the different areas in your life. So those five thoughts today, look at the main emotion. Um, if you got frustrated today, you would put frustrated. If you, if most of them are happy, then you would put happy in there. But then you need to look at, well, with those emotions, how is it affecting my career? How is it affecting my health? How is it affecting my spiritualness, my relationships? Because what happens if you keep doing those negative thoughts over and over again? Um, okay, so uh, one of the problems I had, negative problems I had yesterday too was I was looking at my weight. And so if I keep thinking about the weight, you know, and you get, I get frustrated, guess what? I probably won't lose weight because I'm thinking about it too much, right? And so my health and also my spiritual may go down because I'm not thinking good about myself. Or if it's a real negative thought that is fearful and I'm, I have all this anxiety, then, you know, your health may go down because then you may turn to alcohol. You may turn to drugs to try to, you know, all the trigger. So you really have to think about your thoughts and that kind of leads you to be able to get better with those, you know, turn those negative thoughts into the positive thoughts. And so that's one reason why I thought, you know what, I need to talk about mirror work. Now, what I'm going to talk about to, in just a few minutes is Lewis, I'm sorry, Lois, Lois Hay um, is the one that wrote a book about mirror work. And I think, I don't think she's with us anymore. Um, but it does talk about different exercises that you can do. And uh, within 21 days, I haven't bought the book yet, but I think I'm going to, especially after talking about this. You know, I think it's it's a, a really important thing. If you have a lot of negative thoughts, you may want to consider looking at it. Um, but the mirror techniques is very, very interesting. Um, and I really, whenever I was going through public speaking and learning how to public speak, uh, they told us, I, I went through Toastmasters, and it's like a group where we practice. And they told us to go in front of the mirror and practice your speech. Because what you're hearing, you're mainly hearing your voice. And that's another thing that will turn you off to lay is hearing your voice. Um, but the mirror technique in the, uh, to, to really raise that self-confidence and get in those positive thoughts going, it's really good to talk to yourself in the mirror. <laughs> Um, and so it, it get past hearing your voice and it's almost like you're talking to your soul, you know, your higher self. So you definitely need to stare into your eyes. Don't be looking, oh, I can't stand looking at myself. Eventually you get used to what you look like and you're beautiful. You got to really accept yourself. Verbalize out loud. Don't do it in your mind. Out loud who you want to be or what you want to do. And I'm going to show you some information in a few minutes. And then give yourself a pep talk, okay? And so, oh my goodness, like yesterday, something else was bothering me. And I thought, you know, I'm going to try it. <laughs> and I did. I gave myself a pep talk in front of the mirror. And I did. I felt much better. Now, if you start crying when you do that, that means that you really need to cry. But it's something if you do it every day, you'll get used to seeing yourself in the mirror. You will be able to really, you know, talk to yourself and it will become a habit. And that's exactly what you want to make it into. Um, and I, oh gosh, I forgot what else I was going to say. Oh, um, but, but the affirmation, if you say it over and over again, it will actually get into your subconscious. And then your thoughts, you know, that chemical in, in your brain changes. I don't want to go into the scientific thing because I don't think I could speak, you know, tell you all those words. So, yes, yeah, so that would be, um, so you do have things that will change um, with brain waves and everything. And you'll be able to get these beautiful positive thoughts. So here are some affirmations. Um, and what you need to do is that exercise that we just did about your negative thoughts that you're having or your positive thoughts, that will help you find an affirmation to change that, right? And um, so this will, like, I believe in my abilities and myself. And really what I want you to do, instead of just going, you know, saying it without emotion, pretend like you're an actor, you know, you're acting it out, or you're talking to somebody or your best friend, and you're trying to convince them. Really say it with emotion, okay? Um, I can face this day, and it's challenges with strength. So if you know you're going to have a difficult meeting, maybe this would be a good affirmation for you. 
or I let go of my fears, anxieties, and negative thoughts. I am filled with hope. I show compassion to others. Oh, I'm covering it up and myself. So these are some affirmations that you could do. Um, you could also sit and meditate with it after you do the mirror work, but just something, you know, and what, what I've also been told to do is write that affirmation on a sticky note and put it on your mirror. And that way, anytime you brush your teeth, you're, you know, you can stop and you can say that to yourself so that those, those negative thoughts will get limited. Right. So, um, gosh, so I hope this really helped you. It, let me know if you have any questions and I know that everybody will have a bad day, right? So we have our bad days because we learn from them. But, you, but if they keep cropping up or something in the past keeps triggering an emotion in you, find an affirmation that will really help you heal over it. And you don't have that, that block anymore. Because again, if you're not able to uh, love yourself, how are you going to help people love themselves, right? So, and people will be able to see how you feel and how you radiate more whenever you really like yourself. And sometimes when you have bad days, you know, we, we talked about laughter. Laughter is another thing that will bring up positive energy. And fake laugh. They said fake life is a, laughing is as good as real laughter. So, which is very, very interesting. So, the more you use, use these strategies, the more healthier you will become and the more spiritual you will become. Because like today, if I had felt, I don't know if I would have felt all this positive energy today because I was looking at all my negative thoughts yesterday and I'm, I don't know if I would have felt it. But because I you know, did the exercises yesterday and I'm feeling better, I feel all this wonderful energy. And hopefully this will help you conquer your world. And if it's just for today, you're conquering the day, right? Or conquering the world. So hopefully this will bring you positiveness and just spread that. And remember, all those thoughts will go out into the universe. So we need right now, especially when we need positive thoughts, don't we, girls? All right. So everybody take care. Uh, many blessings. And remember, do that mirror work and text me and let me know how, how you did with it. And let me know if it really did do a positive thing in your life.